summarizing qualitative data. Frequency distributions are often used to summarize qualitative data. A frequency distribution is a tabular summary showing the number of items that appear in your data from each of several non-overlapping classes. When frequency distributions are displayed in tabular form, they provide a quick visual of patterns that exist in your data. Let's explore the results of a survey that was given to students in a college algebra course. They were asked to rate the overall effectiveness of the course as being excellent, above average, average, below average, or poor. Their ratings are provided here in the table. For qualitative data, we define a class as each of the possible response categories. For our example, our classes are poor, below average, average, above average, and excellent. The frequency for each class gives the number of times that that response category was seen in the data set. If you go back to the previous slide, you will see that there were exactly two poor responses. Three below average responses, five average responses, nine above average responses, and one excellent response. If you sum the frequencies of all of your classes, you should always get the number of items contained in the entire data set. The relative frequency for a class is the fraction or proportion of the total number of items in the data set that belongs to that class. A relative frequency distribution is a tabular summary of data showing the relative frequency for each class. The percent frequency of a class is the percentage of the total data items that belong to that class. A frequency, a percent frequency distribution is a tabular summary of a set of data showing the percent frequency for each class. For our example, recall we had 20 total responses. Two out of the 20 responses were from the poor category. 2 divided by 20 gives us 0.1 as the relative frequency for the class poor. 3 out of the 20 responses were below average. Therefore, 3 divided by 20 gives us 0.15 for the relative frequency of the below average class. We continue the same for the remaining classes. In order to compute the percent frequency, we simply multiply our relative frequency times 100, and we obtain 10% as the percent frequency for the poor class. Converting our decimal for every other class into percentages we can obtain the percent frequencies for the remaining classes. Please note that if you sum the relative frequencies for all of your classes, you should obtain the number one. I caution students that when computing the relative frequency, if you have to round some of your decimals, 
it is possible that when you sum your relative frequencies, you will obtain a number that is slightly below one or slightly above one. In order to avoid this, you may want to leave your relative frequencies in fraction form. When you sum the percent frequencies for all of your classes, they should sum to 100. A bar graph is a popular method used to display qualitative data. On the horizontal axis, we specify the labels that are used for each class. For our example, we see on the horizontal axis, we have specified each of our classes. The frequency, relative frequency, or percent frequency distribution can be used to scale the vertical axis. For our example, we use the frequency as our scale for the vertical axis. Using a bar of fixed width, Drawn above each class label, we extend the height of each bar to match the selected distribution for each class. For our example, notice each of our bars have the identical width. The height of each bar for our example matches the frequency for each class. The below average class had a frequency of 3. Above average had a frequency of 5. The bars are separated to emphasize the fact that each class is a separate non-overlapping category. Pie chart. A pie chart is commonly used to display percent frequency distributions for qualitative data. In order to draw a pie chart, we begin by drawing a circle. We then use the relative frequencies to subdivide the circle into sectors that correspond to the relative frequency for each class. Since there are 360 degrees in a circle, a class with a relative frequency of 0.25 would consume 0.25 times 360, or 90 degrees of the circle. For our example, the above average category consumes 45 degrees of the circle. As shown with the percent frequency, the excellent category consumes 5% of the circle.